KIT, the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, is located in the southwest of Germany. We are one of the largest technical research institutions in Europe. Karlsruhe has a long-standing tradition in science and engineering. For instance, Karl Benz and Heinrich Hertz have worked here. Based on that long-standing expertise, we have recently decided to put special emphasis on the topical areas energy, mobility and information. In this context, material science and engineering is embedded in the activities of electrical and mechanical engineering. We develop, for instance, materials for batteries, e-mobility, lightweight applications, sensors, actuators and much more. The Institute for Applied Materials is the largest institute at KIT with 450 employees. With our state-of-the-art facilities on processing and our world-class uh, techniques for analytical and microstructural characterization of materials, we are able to study the behavior of any material at all length scales. In the Division on Materials Mechanics and Biomechanics, we study mechanical properties of materials with respect to a broad range of application. So we're studying experimentally as well as theoretically um, the formation behavior and fracture behavior of materials, uh, for many of them at the nanoscale. We build upon the very fundamental materials research and we use those principles to design new structures and optimize materials. For example, we study the behavior of climbing plants, biological structures, and use those principles to design damage-tolerant fixings and anchors in construction. We are studying nanostructured materials for lightweight applications. These materials are designed on biomimetic concepts and are made by 3D printing at the nanoscale in order to mimic, for instance, the structure of bone. Collaborations with the modeling groups are central to our work. They help us to understand the experimental findings and obtain mechanism-based descriptions of the processes. As computational material scientists, we are ideally located here in the Institute for Applied Materials. We can pick and choose the problems we want to address and we significantly benefit from the big computational resources and the big data resources here at KIT. Simulations act as a virtual microscope that allow us to observe processes that are difficult or impossible to observe experimentally. We are able to start our simulations at the atomic scale, at the electronic structure of the material, and all the way up to the continuum scale to microscopic bodies contacting. And at intermediate scales, we have a range of specialized mesoscopic methods at our disposal. Although we mostly do fundamental research in my group, we significantly contribute to applications. For example, the multi-scale simulations of friction wear processes in diamond or carbon coatings that we developed together with the Fraunhofer Institute for Mechanics of Materials are now very interesting for industry. In the Division of Materials for Electrical Engineering, we focus on the electronic and ionic transport properties of materials in fuel cells and batteries. In battery electrodes, we want to understand how the electrochemical performance is linked to chemical composition and microstructure. As an electrical engineer, I'm interested in how the material properties of the battery actually translate to the electrical properties of the battery. By understanding this, we can give a very specific feedback to the material scientists on which properties of the materials to actually improve. We are doing our measurements on small consumer batteries, but also on large automotive batteries. There, we measure the full battery, but also we cut it open, we take small samples and investigate these samples in greater detail. In battery electrodes, particle surface area corresponds to power density, whereas particle size and porosity corresponds to energy density. So by combining electrical and microstructural characteristics, we can help to design future generation batteries. In the division of uh, ceramic materials and technologies, we are working on processing, sintering and crank rows of structural as well as functional ceramics uh, used for various energy related applications. In the field of batteries, we use uh, commercial materials, modify them, but we also synthesize new materials like high voltage spinels or lithium metal fluorides that are processed by uh, spray drying using solutions or soles as well as a mixed oxide loop. 
Our main objective of research is to uh, try to understand the influence of a microstructure uh, on the electrical performance and uh, therefore we vary the porosity, we vary the distribution and uh, the ratio of the active and inactive uh, components in an electrode. The Institute for Applied Materials has uh, developed a truly interdisciplinary program in material science and engineering. Our students have the opportunity to be part of a great research environment with world-class facilities and excellent researchers. The master program uh, covers the diversity and the multi-scale character of material science and in the labs I am uh, trained on newest equipment and uh, the teamwork with students from other um, disciplines deepens my understanding and trains me on the job. The Institute for Applied Materials will play an important role here at the forefront of science as well as in teaching the engineers that are needed for our future.